Hey, this is for my um, Merc Cruiser. It is uh, the solenoids for the trim, for the leg to lift up and down. These are my old solenoids that I had on there that were pretty corroded and um, it actually wasn't working. So I had to replace all of that. Uh, this is the new, the new one. Um, I had to change the bracket. This uh, this piece here, this cross piece, and I cleaned up all the posts, all the connections, made sure that uh, everything was clear of any corrosion. Same with uh, the connections on here to the ground. This is the ground uh, for the solenoids. This top one here is to go up, and the bottom one is to go down. One of the things that they brought up at the shop was blue is the sky and uh, green is the grass so the ground or the bottom so that you know that this the green is is to go down and the blue is to go up so that's a um, good idea good idea to have when you're actually uh, getting this put back together so all this stuff here I had to cut all the wires off I had to snip everything in order to get it out of the boat so I have to go down I put everything back together the way I saw it the way I remembered it um, I took pictures so I uh, made sure I I done everything the right way and putting things back so this is the fuse this one here um, it's a 20 amp fuse and this one goes to here it sends a, sends a current to the switch so the switch has power and uh, this goes all the way through to, to the red wire here. And this one's going to be reconnected. This one's going to be reconnected to the boat. Uh, and same with this one. This, this is, these are the switches for the switches. So that's where that goes. Um, so it gets its live current from here. I have to put the, put the live wire from the battery onto here when I get back. So you'll notice that when I I'll do a little bit more filming when I get back over to the boat. But I'm, I'm, I had to take this right off and uh, to straighten this out a little bit in order to get everything out. All these all these bolts here, they were right corroded. So here's one of them. It was right corroded. I had to cut it from the back and then I had to uh, chip it out. It was like right, right corroded. The whole plate had corrosion all over it. I uh, cleaned it right up, grinded it down a little bit, and then I, I repainted it. Uh, same way, I, and I put uh, stainless steel ones in the back, and you can see the back. I put the bolts in the back so they don't come out. I don't really need these, the bolts in the back. They're just extra security for them. Um, they fit really well without them, but I, I put them in there anyway. So a little overkill on that, but it's better to have... I think it'd be better to have the stainless steel ones instead of the other ones because there is moisture um, and you can tell by the, the goop and the green crap that was in there. Um, this, this plate, it is, actually, it is sitting right here. So um, it, wasn't, it wasn't all that great. Uh, I can see a piece of it broken here. So I, I went to um, Sherwood Marine got another solenoid because I broke the solenoid when I was taking it off and I had to replace the, both of them so I just did both of them instead of just doing one at a time so I took this and they gave me this bar here too uh, I, drill, I re drilled it and then I um, I put it in place so it's a little bit thicker a lot thicker so hopefully it'll be a lot better uh, Just this one here is just draws a current to both of them uh, the live current so uh, that's that for that. I'm putting, gonna go put every hook everything back up again. So same with uh, same with uh, the hoses for this that goes that goes to the lake, and hopefully things will work out. Uh, we'll catch you in a bit.